my god! Every bro, every direction I look is something impressive. That's a big backyard, bro. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. I guess just the lounge area to cage up some humans. Alright, bro, this is open. Oh. Bro! What? Oh no. Hey guys, it's Agent Zero here. Hey, what's good with y'all niggas? Okay, chill. Sorry, my fault. Hey, look, today we're comparing condos versus homes, bro. First home today, Ben, what's the stats? Okay. This is a four bed, four bath, like smack dab in the middle of Buckhead. Just a little bit under 5,000 square feet. Damn! Good. It looks way better inside than it does outside. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Nah, so that's... I know by a lot of y'all standards, this is still cheap. 5,000 square foot, 1.2 million, but by Atlanta standards, this is like as expensive as it gets. Yeah. Alright, um, no, that is cat. Okay, first of all, I love how it's open concept. Fireplace, I'm sure it works. They definitely got the piano here for me. Let me play y'all some tunes. Oh, no, quick. no, 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 please. We're over this. Nah, but on, on some real shit, I love homes like this. This is like a very nice contemporary vibe, open concept. Look at these windows for a moment. Who does that? I don't know what material this is, but it just looks cool. It could be the same material, just painted black. In Canada, we call this a den. What do we call this in Atlanta? This uh, is a cool. Den. This a is den. a den? A den. Yeah. All right, man, so then we get to, oh my God, the kitchen. Oh my God, guys, come, please. Yo, oh, it's a fire kitchen, dog. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the the enormity of this kitchen island. Like, even the seats look wavy. The appliances, you could tell they bought the most expensive one. Oh, oh my god! Every, bro, every direction I look is something impressive. That's a big backyard, bro. There's something about this area in Buckhead that I just don't appreciate. I don't want to be right beside the main road. This is right, right beside the main road. This is the first bedroom. Now this is the most gargantuous mirror I've seen in my life. This has to be the one that Snow White was talking to. And there is a bathroom in here as well. Oh my God. The his and hers, that's a big surface for a shower right there. I love a stand-up shower, the materials are great. It's a small toilet. They have to have small balls. Cause if you have big balls, there's no way it's fitting in that toilet. It's not for us, bro. It's definitely a wedding dress. Okay. Right. <laughs> That's good. Damn, I can hit a lick she and walk out divorce. of here with 20 I guarantee, bands. I guarantee she got divorced. I can walk out here with 20 bands. You know how expensive wedding dresses are? Right. Oh, there's a crack down the door. Yeah, but this is original, man. I don't care. It's busted up. Pack it the f up. Like they did most that. of this in this house. What the f <laughs> And this is where all of the bedrooms would reside. Yeah. Okay, so this room in particular comes equipped with the, a kitchen. So that's dope. You got a stove top in the sink. You can chill on the roof. I know y'all seen all them fucking TV shows and movies. How do they get on the roof? It's rooms like this. They just be chilling on here smoking and shit, sneaking in boyfriends. I was a little upset that that room didn't have a dedicated bathroom, but then I saw this bathroom and I was like, never mind. But this is old. Yeah, it is old, this but is I really old. This kind of reminds me of the AMP house, actually. This very much so reminds me of like the master bathroom in the AMP house. Yeah. I, I wish they had a bigger sink, but overall, like another bedroom. I refuse to believe someone actually watches TV from back there on this tiny twenty. I have monitors bigger than this. Wow, these guys really just picked up and left. Like, no, they just left behind everything, man. Clothes and everything are just left behind. <laughs> so this is the final bedroom, which means that that was the master bedroom. They're not. These are small rooms, actually, to be honest. Oh. Grown ass man, grown. Okay, look, this is the door that leads you out into the backyard. There's a little chill area if you just wanna post up and enjoy some outside weather. But then you come out here to the patio and you immediately think to yourself, why is the house so compact if they have such an abundance of space? Like, take a look. Babe. God, just spread it this way. Add an extra bathroom up there. That's, cause in my head I'm thinking about like, what it would be to live here. I know it would be frustrating if every room has a person. I know I'm like, bro, get out the fucking bathroom, dog. It's like, I know that, I know he's jerking off in there. I I know what you're tugging your shit in there, bro. Chill. And I need to jerk off as well, so please pack it up. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Hey, look, man, the all great Mark Spain is selling this crib. I don't know who Mark Spain is, but he must run Atlanta. I see him on the billboards and on like 30% of homes being sold, bro. 30%, swear to God. He is more popular than Sotheby's. Who? And they have been running the human race for 400 years. You know, Sotheby's used to auction people. I don't know who that is at all. They auction like art now. Anyway, we're Fine. back in Buckhead, so this is the second house, house number two. I kind of feel like a Cali house. I don't know why. That outside just gives me Cali vibes. Oh my god. I like this. It's cool. It smells interesting. Like Santa Claus has been here recently. Alright, well, the first thing you're greeted with is a big ass living room. 
This is a compact crib. Come along to the kitchen, man. And we're there. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. A whole lot of steps. <laughs> if, you, if you have a wheelchair, this is not the crib for you, my brother. But uh, yeah, no, this is the kitchen. It's a big ass island. What's the specs on this place, Ben? Um, I believe it's just under 5,000 square feet, similar to the last one. It's a four or five bed and like four bath. This is 5,000 square feet. It's like four, four and some change. Okay, well, we Where gotta hunt it? for the square footage because I'm not yeah. seeing it right now. We're gonna look for it though. All right, this is the kitchen. I love stuff like this. This lighting is creative as, and the way they mount it is very unique too. I love the the sunroof. Is what you call it? Is that the moon roof? Yo, in 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 the house I need dog. I know it's hella expensive, but this all has to be automatic. Like I have to be able to touch a remote or talk to Alexa. Okay, now the shutters moving down. I should have moved on. But but if you if y'all have never bought shutters before, shutters are expensive as f and I don't know why. They must be made out of like elephant meat or something because the prices they charge for shutters is nuts. Uh, but yeah, they accent it with the red sofa here. Uh, for some reason, the sofa's not facing the TV. That's odd. Once you get from that side of the house to this side of the house in under two seconds, you can open up the backyard. Oh wow, it's not as actually as large as it looked at first. There's no way I'm looking at a parking lot. <laughs> this sucks. It's a parking lot. Hey, it's not the best view, but I, I think when the tree's coming though, it feels more like nestled in. Uh, yeah, sure. When the one, two trees come in and then they got a big ass fire pit there too. Shout out to the fire pit down there. No seating. Just a fire pit. Hold on, we've only seen like 500 square feet of it, so let's look for but the like, rest of it. Honestly, this is this is what your money gets you here. That's crazy, by the way. Man, that's insane. Well, this is the upstairs. Follow me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you missing? You're missing a lot of space. Oh, there's a downstairs. Okay. I don't even see this. Okay, guys. Well, there's a, a half bath in here. Small sink, small toilet. You know, just for convenience sake. Just for convenience sake. I imagine there's a laundry room. Dyson vacuum. That's a, that's a good size laundry room. That's a $700 vacuum. I'm telling you all right now. I have one of them. I don't know why I bought it. I was being stupid. Apparently, he was too, though. All right, let's go downstairs. Now, basements aren't plentiful in the city of Atlanta. So every time I see a basement, I, I've grown to appreciate it. Okay, let's, let's go through it. Here's the first bedroom i'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be i guess just the lounge area to cage up some humans potentially have drinks i don't know if that's supposed to be a bar or a bad podium this person maybe makes flowers 100 percent. they're flower making oh i can see that now come along this way this is one of the bedrooms i don't know how i feel about all the bedrooms being like in the basement although there is a door that leads to the outside there's some upstairs here. in this house too yeah 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 Oh, wow, it leads you to the backyard that we were looking at in the patio above. It, they also have their own bathroom here. Nice little closet, decent bathroom. There's nothing crazy. <sighs> they have a bathtub shower. Don't like that. But if you keep walking down this, what feels like forever hallway. Well, so here's your answer. What is happening, man? So, this is. Here. This is like a, you can B and B out this whole floor basically. Look, it's a big tabletop, but there's only one sink. There's a bathtub shower and a toilet. It just feels like a, they didn't really use the space wisely. I mean, you can't be mad at it. There's a second kitchen. So like if somebody doesn't want to come upstairs, they could 1 million percent just use the facilities here. It's not the greatest appliances, but again, like no duty trick, bro. Yeah, so she just works out of here. She's kind of like design or he, has this design this place to work out of and their flower business must be flourishing because she's living in a very rich area <laughs> bro there's nothing i love more than a master on the main floor dog because in toronto all the master bedrooms is in the top floor first time i seen a master on the main was when i went to houston and i loved it it's so much more convenient there's space here i love the bed you can put a way bigger oled lg oled tv up here and you get direct <laughs> access to the patio you just look there's r2d2 right there you peep r2d2 yeah, feel me. So this is the master bath. Big ass tub. I put that in the scale. You gotta make sure your health is right. I feel like anytime I see a sink this big, it just confuses me why there's not more than, like, more sinks, more sinks, but who cares? Oh, there's one back here. Yeah, I feel like the way they use space in this house is very interesting. Uh, there's a toilet in there. Rainfall shower, I f those heavy. I need one of them, I like that. And Ben is appreciating the watch collection. Yo, to leave this here is crazy. To leave this here and people are viewing the home is crazy. Crazy. These these hosts, man, they're so trusting. <laughs> okay, so we viewed the bottom floor. The main floor severely makes up for the bottom floor. I don't even want to consider the bottom floor because it just felt so mid. The bottom floor just felt like a cheap attachment to the house. This main floor feels 
compact, but like nice. It feels homey. It's a good vibe. But this is the upstairs. Okay, so I mean the, the top. What the f this is nice. I'm with it. How do you how do you ignore that? This I don't... is a neat, cozy bedroom. I can't ignore but this. But when you yeah, when you make, I can't ignore it. Go back. You make your way out. There is a ladder. Oh shit. Yeah, this isn't even connected. It's like a Harry Potter they built, cubby. They they renovated their attic. Like if I was a child, bro, man, the Hot Wheel. You have a what? giant beanbag and like put a big yeah. OLED TV yeah. up in there. And give You're my learning. The door. Yeah. Next time we see Ben, he's buying an OLED watch. Oh, okay, so we got a neat little room, man. We got a thousand ten. Not not a small room, it's a regular size room. You'll take it. And then here is on the opposite side. I imagine this is a Jack and Jill bathroom over here. Nope, closet. So that's not a Jack and Jill. But she actually gets one of the best views. Never mind, I lied. It's a beautiful parking lot, so never mind. So when you're buying property, you're not just buying the home, you're really buying the land too. The reality about Buckhead is it's it's kind of like the Hollywood of Atlanta, so the prices is just higher. The price of the home is a million dollars, but most of what you're paying for is the land in the area that you're trying to live in. You know, in areas like Toronto, if you have viewed my video, my real estate video in Toronto, you can go an hour away from Toronto and it's still super expensive. It's not the case in Atlanta. You can go like 10 minutes from downtown Atlanta and it's and super cheap and affordable. But we're viewing a third home. This one's a little bit further away and Ben said he thinks it's the best one. Hey man, we're at house number three. This is in Brookhaven, so it's a little bit north of Buckhead. It's a little bit south of where I wanna be. But this is what it looks like on the outside. I kinda f with it though. These barn door garages here. How you open these? It, it's for show, man. It's for show. Oh, okay. Stop, <laughs> don't do that. I've been bamboozled. Hoodwinked and run amok, but hey man, is the entrance? That's not an entrance. Or is this the entrance? That one. Mm. This looks mad cool though. No, it does. This we going no, that way? I want to go in that no, way. This gives me heavy Ethiopia vibes. Ethiopia? Heavy nah, this Ethiopia is like vibes. like Russian Coliseum. What are you talking about? No, bro. Straight <laughs> Ethiopia right there, dog. Yeah, I've gone back in too long. Straight bro. Ethiopia. Oh, your mom? Did your mom lie to you too about how Ethiopia has everything we have here too? <laughs> There is so everything. much. Hey, we have everything. Hey, here. she's lying. <laughs> she's lying. All right, bro. This is oh. 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 Babe, what's the specs? Six bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. I think it's like six thousand square feet. Yeah. So the biggest house we've viewed so far. This one's not staged, but this is a big, nice area. I'm with this entire area here. I like it a lot. Guys, we're so sorry for the audio. Yeah, there's, echo. We're sorry. There's nothing we can do. There's hey, no all right, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Damn. Oh, okay, all right. This is a high ass sink, man. This is a high sink. Kai and others like him can't fit, and that's tough for them. All right, bro, this is what I like about open concept homes. Everything is not nestled away in its own room. Everything is just open. Look at this kitchen, man. This looks like the desk they, they do like NBA on TNT. Uh, they got dual sinks here. Bro, people underestimate the value of a sink. We need two large sinks here. There's so much space, why not? No, this is good, because people know not to put plates and stuff in here. This is just for oh. like, you gotta leave clear access to the- Yeah, we need to put this in the A&P crib for sure. This stove is nestled inside the actual granite. That's fucking interesting. What are you talking about? This stove Oh, oh, oh! inside, bro. Ben, how much does this place cost? One point two million dollars. One point two million dollars. Brookhaven is like, for those of you that don't know, like, that's right here for all intents and purposes. Facts. <laughs> all right, so I love the open space. That open space will bring you to the back of the crib. It's a nice little den in here with a fireplace. There's definitely no heating or nothing. It's brick in this room right you now. You just said fireplace. Yeah, but the fireplace is supposed to warm you up, but that means you need wood. <laughs> If you're cool in this room, find wood. Maybe chop the trees outside. Uh, talking about the trees outside, how the f do we get there? I think you have to like exit back this way. Okay, so once you exit into- There's an outside hallway? Nah, this is crazy. Bro, I feel like some weird shit's happened here before. There is a hook with a chain <laughs> no, 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 that's just not connected to shit. All right, so these are the French doors that we've seen earlier. I swear it's Ethiopian. No, it's Look, this is Ethiopian locks. It, it couldn't be more Ethiopian. <laughs> you couldn't be more Ethiopian. You'd have to have like glass bottles on Hi, the top. You have to do that. Look, I learn stuff from every house I do. Right now, I'm thinking about buying a house in Atlanta, but in like 10, 20 years, I'm moving back to Toronto. Anyway, when I go back, I think about like when I build my own home, like now I'm thinking like maybe I need an alleyway smack dab in the middle of my home. This way, it's a big ass garage too. Those were the barn doors that we seen earlier. It's a nice amount of space. I hate, there's nothing worse than a compact garage, bro. Nothing worse. 
There's not there's not that much space back here, which is fine. This kind of gives it super reminiscent of that European style house we viewed in Sandy Springs uh, last year, Ben. It was just like, this is a nice little adorable backyard. Not too much to maintain, but you know, enough space to play like catch and sh for those of you who have fathers. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, this house is sh you know, the homes we was looking at previously. Hey! Actually hurt my head. <laughs> it's fine. It's for content, right? All right, let's go downstairs. Paid is content, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> this smells like paint. They've recently painted this, I feel like. Yeah, no, this is definitely God damn, how downstairs is this? That means high ceilings. That means high ceilings. Damn! damn! Ow, look, look. Bro, that's what I'm talking about. The use of space is important. This is a good, regular sized bedroom. Let's head out into the main. Bro, this is fire. They got a little cubby here with all your kitchen utensils. The space is used wisely, but there's all this open space for a TV, some couches, and straight access to your backyard. In my head, I'm thinking like, bro, this is a good use of space. I f*** with this home heavy, what? But you head over this way, they got the bathroom. Oh, my. oh, there's another room. Okay, this is even bigger size. A decent, generic size closet. This is fire, what the f***? Oh, I'm liking this, Ben. I like what I'm seeing today. Sleep and toilet, but you can chill while you take a shower. They got a seat in here for you, man. A nice little unique mosaic touch on the wall just in case you want to be inspired when you're cleaning your balls. I swear this is what a basement should look like. Basement shouldn't look like an afterthought that was just added on so you can have more square foot. This is a basement, bro. Like, you could live here and you wouldn't think it was like an addition to the house. You would think it was the house. This is fire. Okay, but here's the upstairs final part of the crib. Nah, this is fire. So the first thing you're greeted with is a small little laundry room. So you can take care of your dirty drawers. I'm talking to you, Davis. This is the first bedroom on the first floor. I like There's this one. no way they give it a, this is a crazy closet. Damn. For just a bedroom, this is a crazy closet. I want this room. And this is the bathroom right here. Yep, so they got the his and hers. And it connects into the next bedroom, but also, oh, bathtub shower is missed. And it connects into the next bedroom, where the closet is not as big. Bro, so this, is, this is the this is like the most perfect setup for me. Imagine, imagine bedroom here, and then a small little office here with closet with the little equipment and stuff in that. <laughs> the closet with the little equipment. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Your visualization is crazy. Fire. Bedroom number three, and I think there's a bathroom right here. Yup. Bro, what the. First of all, let's be honest, they've missed with this bathtub shower. Like, there's no if ands, what's or buts about it. Can't be mad at it. The sink and the toilet. Dude, look at how high you are, though, real quick. Under house. No, like, what the crazy. f? Why are we so tall? Oh, look, our neighbor's right there. You see what You're so fing horny, believe. And that's your problem, bro. They all You're thought too the horny. Same. They all thought You're the too same horny, thing. Bro. They You're are... too fing horny. Chill. What is she? Actually, hold on. She's mad cute. You stop, you stop, you stop, you stop, you stop, you stop, you stop. See, you're curious. Bro! Oh, no, no, no. Stop. This is the most you room ever, just big and open. Oh, what? And please let me see that bathroom. Please. No shower, no shower, no shower, no shower. Jacuzzi tub, standing shower. Yes. This is so when you take a shit, no one else has to smell it. That's fire. They got two sinks in this bitch and a big ass closet I'll probably never use. <laughs> got even bigger the more you watch. You're probably gonna record this in here again, huh? Nah, this is cool. This, no, this is fire audio right here. This is fire audio. Hold on, perfect. let's get them good audio for the first time this house. Part of the reason why I don't like living too close to the city is because everything just gets more expensive by the fing mile you get closer to the city. I don't need to live that close to the city for me to be paying all that extra money to do what? Be in traffic more? This is a crib I'd actually like what consider person. I sort of got him consider. It's perfect. I, I already sort of I got pick my rooms out, so like whenever you're ready. So this next property we're viewing is a condo. They're way more strict in condos because I guess when you enter a condo, you're also entering like hundreds of other people's living space. He said that his assistant is gonna meet us there. So I'm gonna make up a story about how I'm viewing a home for my family in Toronto. So I can't be as animated because I had to feel more professional, but we're recording to show our family back home. So I really just wanted to show y'all, y'all yeah. my family yeah, back home family. for real. And hopefully she lets us record. Ben showed me photos of this place, dog. It looks nuts. So hopefully we could get the camera in there. And if y'all really family man, my Twitch top link in the description. I've been streaming on Twitch, man. I just got done streaming a live boxing session with my trainer. I'm dropping a video on this YouTube channel where I play against Low in a week, but I'm training for seven days, so I'm recording and streaming that process. And y'all been fucking with it, man. The reception's been fantastic so far, so I appreciate it. Top link in the description if you care.
But I've never been in a condo like this expensive in my life. Let me before she gets you guys. Come on, this this is crazy, <laughs> bro. This is this is crazy. Look at this. This is crazy. It's me right here, y'all. Private lobby for the residents and shit. So this is where I walk in right here. And she literally just texted me and she said they don't want a video taken. What? Why are they texting that right when we get here? Yeah, she's they asked us not to shoot any video. We kind of snuck in some video, but for the most part, this is literally my first time in like a luxury condo. This was like, I think on the 35th floor of the Four Seasons in downtown Atlanta. So it's right in the thick of things. I've never lived downtown in my life. Either it's been too expensive or even when I could afford it, it just didn't make sense because I make too much noise for me to like, every time I play a movie or record a video or make some noise of some sorts, I don't need HOA banging down my door telling me to stop because my neighbor can hear what I'm doing. Bro, as I look around this property, it is insane, the materials. I've never seen anything so luxurious. I think to get the equivalent in a home, you, you're ha you have to be looking at something over three million. There's a bathtub just out in the open in like an elevated stage like area in a sink. Wow. And so to see all of this at the price point of 1.3 million kind of blew me away. There was a lot of space because the owner's assistant let us know that they knocked down the walls of a condo and combined two condos to make it one beautiful property. I have never been this tempted to go from house to condo. They kind of sold me on it here, man. I'm seriously considering pulling the trigger on this. And without any exaggeration, I, bro, I'm, I, I might just do it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I might just can do it and you can see it in my face i'm like damn i've never seen a view like this in atlanta before wow bye guys bye thank you so much i appreciate it it actually really makes me want to buy condo i swear to god bro but not as like a main place to live just a place to live that sounds like the most rich i've ever said guys we hold on i just need to know like if i play max volume movie the person underneath me is not gonna complain. If I know that, they will be. But the materials here, bro, in that condo, sh they destroy the materials in the homes with you. There's less space, but it feels like the best use of Premium. space that we've seen. No cap. Bro, I don't think I can convince myself to do it. I wanna try and make the jump and try something new and pick the condo. Cause I mean, be honest, bro. It had the best materials, definitely looked the coolest, had the best view I've ever seen in Atlanta. But I just can't convince myself to spend a million plus on a condo, bro. The best home, the best property we viewed today was that third house. If I had to pick one, I just wouldn't. I think I'll just wait, because I know there's something that will fit what I need out the crib more. Hey man, there's a real estate video on the screen right now if y'all want to see more. Twitch.tv slash agent 0 if y'all want to catch my streams. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.